Hi, this is John Guandolo, President of Understanding the Threat, uh, with your weekly roundup for the work week ending Friday, June 5th, 2020. This week, obviously, we have to talk about the communist revolution in the United States. This is actually a joint Islamic and communist revolution, primarily being led by, on the ground, communist groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa, and indirect connection, communication, and coordination with the U.S. Muslim Brotherhood, and specifically Hamas, doing business as the Council on American Islamic Relation, funded by George Soros and others. But here's what I want you to pay attention to. Remember that things don't happen on a massive scale, randomly or spontaneously. So last week we talked about when all of this began, you had dozens of riots by violent communists across the United States where we have pre-positioned water, milk, and bricks in cities. We have leadership and these things kicked off. We had immediately had coordinated propaganda efforts and now we see these talking points. And what are the talking points? That the death of George Floyd in Minnesota was racist, that America is systemically racist, that George Floyd was an angel and a hero of the black community, and that that's why all this violence is taking place. And what do we know? All of those are lies, yet those lies have been parroted by Nikki Haley, by former President George Bush, by the Secretary of Defense, by General Mattis, by Admiral Mullen, and by many others. And what do we have happening? The Secretary of Defense is defying the President of the United States. He's ordering the National Guard as of this morning, which is Saturday, June 6th, when I am recording this, telling the National Guard they can't have weapons, they can't have ammunition, and oh, by the way, he's recalling active duty military in defiance of the President of the United States. These are the actions of what we have predicted that the communists and the jihadis working in concert with establishment Republicans to bring down the Republic against the President of the United States. That's where we are right now. We have had a number of conversation with large groups of Americans in the last several days. And I offer this to all of you is number one, what understanding the threat gives you the ability to do is either commission us to do the fighting for you by supporting us financially you can go to understanding the threat join our freedom fund but more importantly we need you in the fight so let us educate and train you how to at the local level deal with this to become a leader at the local level so connect with us at understandingthethreat.com the biggest thing to pay attention to is what's next remember what you're seeing is not what's going on. This is not about the violence. This is about what are they trying to achieve with the violence? And the answer to that in the near term is they want to dismantle police departments across the United States, which they are already starting to do. LAPD, start talking about defunding the police by $150 million. Minneapolis, talking about dismantling the police department and replacing it with something else. And I can tell you what that something else will be, will be a Sharia adherent jihadi police department. Because Minneapolis first, then Minnesota, they, ex they want and expect that to become an Islamic state here in the United States, led by who? The Attorney General Keith Ellison. He has been tapped by the Muslim Brotherhood to do that. That's where this is going. Make no mistake about it, and that's where they are. What you can do is you need to understand that's what's going on, and we need you at the local level to begin preparing. We give you the tools to do that, so reach out to us at Understanding the Threat and use us as a resource. Let us train you. We need to get these training programs underway immediately. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you.